Yeah. Well, I think this, uh, the deforestation issues uh, were the main kind of the, the agenda uh, for, for a lot of you know, uh, national and international uh, agencies and, and uh, donor agencies. <laughs> We had a clear task. That was our, we saw that a bit as our job to sort of bring together experiences and uh, and people and try and and thereby you know be involved in the definition of community forestry in different aspects. Groups were getting organised and putting together a framework, which ultimately led to the establishment of Recall. So there was a lot of talk in the region about the need for some sort of regional centre. Uh, to analyse and what was happening around the region in different countries and to promote the notion of community forestry. Dr. want to wanted to see me. Uh, I went to see him at the president's office and uh, he he sent an idea of said, establishing the center. Uh, this room used to be a record office when uh, our uh, organization uh, was established in the 1987. I have to admit that uh, at, at the beginning, uh, we are not look. We, we, we did not look at uh, to become international center <laughs> like this. And I, 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 I think uh, we, we we just thinking of uh, running the project as a small project. It was, I think, uh, very exciting, you know, for. Uh, everybody, the staff, you know, we are very proud that uh, we have the princess, you know, it's just especially uh, Princess Lin Hon, you know, many people, Thai people love her and, you know, we, we, we feel like, we feel that it's like an honor, you know, for, for us uh -huh, and for Recon, you know, that uh, this building, you know, uh, can be used, you know, for uh, uh, for our activity and uh, it will be something like, you know, I mean, blessing to, to whatever we will do in the future. In 1996, if you look at the uh, training program in Lake House, there were only three training, three international training courses. The one is one is the uh, certificate one, it's called Community Forestry Certification, uh, Certificate Course. And the second is the uh, Community Forestry Extension Course. And the third one is Participatory Management in Forested Areas. But the big change it might be, you know, during the time that uh, we, we, we got a new director. The one thing that, the way that, you know, this, uh, we, we brought the change uh, in, uh, in uh, within RECOPT and the way that you know, the RECOPT, the image is now projected out uh, as one of the leading uh, community forestry institutions uh, in the region and in fact in the world. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I think uh, RECOPT is the only you know, institution which is solely committed to community forestry and this actually presents both challenges and opportunities for, for, for RECOPT. In 1998, I joined uh, the training course, again the, this uh, community forestry extension course. So that was the, my first time actually I, you know, associated uh, with recovery. Actually, you know, it was great to uh, learn about community forestry about even uh, within my countries, things outside the country, you know, in Bangkok. Learning uh, things in Nepal, what happening in Nepal, uh, but in Bangkok from like uh, Dr. Yamala. 
I learned uh, actually it more. I learned more uh, about the process, you know, uh, extension uh, um, uh, process of the uh, distribu uh, let's say dissemination and the facilitation, motivation in the rural community as well as for the partners. So uh, the 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 process that I learned was very useful for me. In the late 90s we started to realize it's not as simple as that. There are very strong, you know, other interests in this forest. It's not just, you know, these, these communities or these farmers are not the only interest group there. We focus on that, but by focusing on that we didn't, you know, quite, we lost sight a bit of all the other interests. Yeah, the project that stand uh, for a longer period of time, I think, is the uh, Thai Country Support Program funded by Dan said, and then later on, uh, with Dan either. Part of the community forestry development process in the field that uh, we have to uh, um, uh, enter ourselves in the community. It took at least two years to to build trust. I mean, to kind of uh, let them know our our intention and our objectives of working there. If I look back when I was at Recoff, we used to get lots of participants for courses and workshops and conferences that came from Africa and mm. few from Latin America and few from the Pacific. Um, and I'm, you know, I mean, which, which indicates that Recoff was recognised and was providing, you know, opportunities for discussion and, yeah. uh, and training which were not available or not readily available in those regions. Uh, now the people who are implementing yeah. community forest, even in, in many countries, they are moving more to 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 community based natural resource management rather than working uh, purely with the forest. The other big change that's taken place in Recoft, I think, is uh, a move towards a broader vision of, of community forestry. Um, and a desire by RECOF to be more than just a training centre, but rather to be a, uh, an intellectual base for community forestry thinking and analysis, and to influence community forestry thinking um, in countries by engaging in a range of policy dialogues, um, discussions, as well as more practical type of uh, uh, issues as well. We have to work with uh, national organizations, uh, institutions, both government and non-government organizations, and civil societies, um, and, uh, and and uh, and and uh, at the local level, like you know, with different interest groups, uh, and then we also have to, you know, this align with uh, with international organizations and uh, and multilateral and bilateral donors.